Good morning and welcome to Disney Dream Day 2. It's pirate day today and we're really excited for that because there is so much on the itinerary for today. We've got pirate party on deck, we've got the fireworks, we've got meet and greets that are pirate themed. We're dressing up like pirates, so it's going to be a great day. But firstly, we are heading for breakfast again. I think Sophie and Chloe really struggled yesterday with the buffets being so full, so we've going to go for the sit down breakfast again I think that was definitely our right decision to go and do that so we're going to do that first thing Pete and Oscar are going to get in the pool and I'm going to have a wander I don't know I'm going to have a little explore and then yeah we've just got a lot going on later so we'll have a bit of a chill morning but let me show you outfit of the day so I've got a little nautical themed bow band I didn't fancy ears today, I felt a bit more casual. And then this 25th anniversary tea, look at that, how gorgeous is that? This is by Making Magic and Company and if you use the discount code Annie10 you get 10% off, it's actually perfect. And Emma also very kindly gifted me this little pouch and this is so cute, it's a really good size. And it's a new product that she's got coming out. It's got a hoy written across, embroidered actually. These are absolutely gorgeous. Again, the discount code works on these. And she's also going to do a Disney Parks range as well as the cruise one. But look at that. How gorgeous is that? And then I just put on this charm that I got from Character Warehouse that was from Disney Cruise Line. And then I got my little diamantes. <laughs> and yeah, just a nice casual outfit this morning. So last night, when I was being a lush, Oscar, what were you doing? Tell everyone what you did. I did a video game competition at Kids Club and won. You won? What was the video game? Mario Kart. You've only been preparing for that your whole life, haven't you? <laughs> so what did you win? Uh, this hat and this certificate. So the certificate says, Magical Moments Oscar Stores Mario Kart Competition. Wow, that is so cool. And then let's have a look at the hat. That is amazing. Not seen anything like that in the shop. Do you like it? That's very impressive. Well done, you. Right, we are hungry now, so let's head for breakfast. So I've gone for Eggs Benedict and Mickey Waffles again. And then we've got the DCL with an omelette. I think that's the same, isn't it? You've got that. Oscar's gone for his favorite peanut butter and jelly typhoon. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, look at that. Maple syrup for the Mickey Waffles. Thank you thank so much. You. And then I think Chloe's got those corned beef pack, I think it is, but it looks really nice. Is it good? Yeah. So where where have we ducked? La Rochelle. We've ducked at La Rochelle. And what are your plans for today? Uh, we don't really have any. We're just going to go explore this. Have a little mooch. Yes. So we're just in the atrium here. And the, to get off the ship, oh there's Tiana, um, it's literally just down here. Oh. It's been a while since I vlogged I think, but we had breakfast, we said bye to Sophie and Chloe who got off the ship. Pete and Oscar have gone in the pool, I think on like excursion days, port days, I don't know if it's just a distribution of cast members or they're expecting people to get off the ship or whatnot, but there's not that much that's open this morning. The shops aren't open. The aqua the aqua mouse isn't open. So it's a bit limited maybe because a lot of people will be getting off. So Oscar and Pete have just been in the pool. I've just been literally wandering around and chatting to people, which is nice. And there's quite a few people on the ship that I know or that we've met. So yeah, it's been nice just to chat to people. And then we're gonna be doing the midship detective agency later um, because that's something we haven't done before and we really wanna do. So we're just chilling a bit this morning because yeah, as I think I said this morning, this afternoon is gonna be so busy. But 
yeah, we are just in port now and it's a bit breezy, but the sun is trying to come out, but it's a really lovely view, let me show you. Look at that. Hi, what have you done this morning, sweet? Um, I have met, met the characters. You met the characters? Met a goofy. And? Did you like that? And two of us in the weather. Amazing. Did you meet Pluto? Pluto. <laughs> Good. Right kids, where are we off to? The scavenger hunt! We're doing the midship detective agency, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've never done it before, so we're excited to see what it is. We're very excited to investigate the food. So we're on deck two and we've just found the initial station to get our instruction. So go ahead kids, see what it says. Go on, Welcome go. to the midship detective agency. Which case would you like to solve? Ooh. Welcome detectives. Boy, are we glad you're here. Which deck are we going to kids? Four. Four. Use your light scope to see if there's a clue. I hear Mickey. I hear Mickey. Oh, that's good. To the left. Mm -hmm. oh. In the middle of the screen. You're looking left. for a clue. Oh. Have oh. It's a school. There you go. Wow, that's clever. <gasps> a puppy. Oh, <laughs> he's got Mickey ears. <laughs> I love his ears. There you go. Oh, little puppies. One of the Dalmatian puppies is found by me. So we found a duck in one of the portholes and with these ducks people hide them around the ship and it's either a little bit of pixie dust so you can keep it or you can rehide it. So we've rehidden it. The rules are you've got to do it in a public place, nothing dangerous or anywhere like that. So we've just rehidden it here so that you can see it as you're walking. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So this door belongs to Pepe the King Prawn. So he's tiny and he's got a tiny door. Knock on it. There's another hidden duck. Another little hidden duck. We have gathered quite a lot of clues now and each of the kids have got an idea as to who it might be. Who do you think, Ava? Um, Captain Hook. And who do you think, Oscar? Jafar. Right, shall we go and find out? Okay, you've collected oh. lots of clues. Now, who do you think committed the crime? You saved all the puppies, Ava! Oscar, well done! You saved puppies! Oh, case closed. How do they have different we finished! You finished! Did you have fun with that? Yes, I hope we got another one. So with the puppy safe in jail, we're heading to Cabanas for lunch um, and we've never been to Cabanas, tell, have we? Tell, tell the children um, who saved the puppies and put them to jail. Ava and Oscar saved the puppies. It doesn't feel that long ago since we ate breakfast actually, but I am actually quite hungry, so yes. Buffet lunch, and we've never done the buffet here, have we Oscar? Yeah. Oscar loves a buffet, don't you? So let's see what there is. Oh, look at these sand castles, Oscar. They're in the shape of the Disney castles. What's that, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Disney World.
buffet, I try and go for something that looks at least like a coherent meal. So I've got, I think this was sirloin with Bernay sauce, surf and turf with the gumbo shrimp, I think he said it was, and then some sides. This is sour cream and chive mash and some french fries. And we picked a window seat and the sun is streaming in. Looks really nice. Well, aside from the view necessarily, but the, the weather looks nice. So Oscar wants to go to Kids Club for a bit. And on the way we've just picked ourselves up a soft serve. So I've gone for the chocolate and vanilla swirl in a cone. So as I was just eating my ice cream, yeah, we saw our friends again. We walked into the adult only area and so our friends are in the hot tub and they're just here on the lounges. So it's really nice, isn't it? Like when you just part of this community, meeting people, like just really nice people and getting to meet them and spending time with them. Did you notice know, the store once I did. I'm, su I'm su surprised that Oscar even had a look in. It is a really nice hat. Well, I'm going to go back up on Decker's. The sun's coming out, so I probably put my hat on. And I was like, why put my hat on? <laughs> well, it's a nice new one. It is a really nice hat. So we're going to do the Marvel trivia. Although we did it on the Magic. And we had just finished binge watching yeah. all the Marvel films. Because I hadn't seen them at that point. So we thought, yeah, we're going to be dead Smash good it. at this. God, we were awful. Yeah. Um, Although we have just we have just done a, a, we have just a, done Marvel, thing. a Marvel refresh. Well, it was, we did Spider. We've done all the Spider-Man movies. So yeah, Oscar's obsessed at the minute, isn't he? Tom Holland. As part of Tom Holland, we've also watched like Civil War and Avengers, uh, Endgame, oh. and Infinity War. So we have got some <laughs> some fresh yeah. Marvel knowledge. So we'll see. But yeah, we're just enjoying the. Well, I can't say sun because we're in the adult only bit. That's that's covered um, but it's just nice and warm and these lounges are like the comfy ones they're padded all the adults get the best stuff we've not spent much time in the adult only area because obviously when we've cruised before Oscar was a bit young on the magic and on the wish well, that was scheduled um, yeah it was more crafts and stuff wasn't it yeah no no but you had to book it if you oh yeah because of the covid rules yeah. and then on the wish because it was such a short duration oh. we kind of there was so much that we wanted to do all together and obviously we had the full day at castaway key and that so we didn't really have a lot of time to be separating whereas now yeah, we couldn't do anything in the evening either at all like any adults only stuff in the evening because they were putting to bed, didn't they? At least an hour. And then we couldn't leave it. Well, obviously, yeah. But now we've got joining rooms with, with Nana. So Nana can babysit. Although we haven't taken use that of yet. that yet. No, I think on yet. the last night we said we were probably going to go back to Pink because we had such a good time last night. Um, so we'll do that maybe with the, the girls and see if my sister wants to come. But yeah, we'll hang out here for a little bit and then Marvel trivia. Who is the highest ranking S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Is it A, Phil Coulson, B, Nick Fury, C, Melinda May, or D, Carol Danvers? Who is the highest ranking S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Oh, Phil okay. Coulson, Nick Fury, Melinda May, or Carol Danvers? No? What? It depends on the timeline, really. It does depend on the timeline, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Enjoying her fun guessing. <laughs> hey, everyone's looking at you now. They know the timeline. Dang. We've just finished the Marvel trivia. Pretty ashamed of ourselves, to be honest. I mean, it wasn't great, but I think it was better than last time. Because I think last time we got 50%, and this time we got... 60%. Extra, 60%, yeah. We got an extra two Still pieces. shameful. We have just recently watched a few as well, but never mind. As we were just coming out, we, we knew that there was filming on the ship, of, like people have been talking about oh, it because cool. some of the areas have been roped off and things, and we've just walked past it and they're talking about the Fine. competition, which we have actually entered, I think. We went it like two weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. To win a 
trip on the uh, Disney Dream next year. So fingers crossed. <laughs> so now we've got a bit of time before we need to go and collect Oscar. Um, and we want to get ready for pirate night. We want to get ready quite early because of all the characters and things. We found ourselves, I think it's up on deck 13, so it's um, adults only bit. Yeah, it must be deck 13, 12, and then up the stairs. Didn't even know it existed. It's so nice and quiet, and they've got like a, what do they call it? I think an infinity pool, and a really nice view as we're ported. So Pete's just gone to get us the cocktail of the day. So we're just going to sit and have that before we go and get Oscar. When it comes, I'll tell you what's in it. But the cocktail of the day is really good value actually compared to the other ones, which are like 15 plus dollars. Cocktail of the day, I think, with the tax worked out about eight dollars, seven dollars, sixty-two or something like that. Right, we've got cocktail of the day. It's Bahama Mama, which is oh, can't see them thing. Dark rum. Creme de banana, Malibu, coconut rum, orange juice, pineapple, and grenadine. Let's try it. The creme de banana was putting me off. But you can't actually taste it. I think it gives it like a, a texture. A texture? It's not thick. It thickens it, but not, it's not thick. Not thick. Mm. Quite nice, huh? Cheers. We're back in our room and we've got the Pirates of the Caribbean Mickey bandanas for Pirate Night. Now, we didn't get these on the Wish. I think they're the only cruise ship that they don't do them when they do the Pirate Night for some reason. Now, we really kindly actually had one that a friend brought back for us. So, Pete's been wearing it on his wrist. But look at that. Got one each now. We're ready. I'm so excited now. Like we tried to go all out for this because last time we didn't really. I don't know if anyone's been watching the vlogs for a while. We'd asked Oscar ahead, do you want to dress up? And he said no. And then when we were on the ship, he changed his mind and one very expensive pirate costume later. So we've learned our lesson. So he might be wearing a very expensive pirate costume, but we've got like cheapies from Amazon. But yeah, we really wanted to commit to it. So let me show you outfit of the evening for Pirates Night. These ears are actually Oscars from a very long time ago. He had like a Captain Hook outfit. And then these are, they are official Shop Disney Mickey ears. And um, as we were kind of pulling stuff out, I found them and thought, I'm having them. Uh, like I say, this is a cheapie from Amazon. And it came with the top, the skirt and the fishnets. And then I'm wearing the uh, Mickey bandana that we got on my wrist. And then let me show you the boys. Yeah, You look so cute, Oscar. I mean, it was a swindle, but you do look damn adorable in that costume. Do you like it? Yeah. And then Pete, you've also got a cheapie from Amazon, haven't you? Yeah. But again, it came with the top, uh, top the sash. Points. Pants. It did come with bandana as well, but obviously I've switched it out. Switched it out. And this is Oscar's sword from again, years and years ago. Very nice. So on the agenda for this evening, I think we're starting with Captain Hook meet and greet. And then from there, we're going to do a pirate quiz, like a family quiz. And then from there, we're going to go and hopefully meet Pirate Stitch. Then Captain Jack. Then dinner. Then the deck party then portraits in the atrium and then the fireworks i mean literally everything is back to back to back and again it's one of those things where you might not get through it all but those are the things we've got in mind let's see if we can get through them <laughs> we're in the queue for captain hook so it it kind of uh, tails all the way around here and we are in the queue just there that's pete there and I've just come to have a little look and it's actually Captain Hook and Smee! Oh, this will be terrible, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually Mickey meeting in his pirate outfit too. While we're just waiting in the queue for Captain Hook, uh, we're just outside of Vista Cafe and Oscar's just helping himself to the pastries. Hello! 
Hi, Smee. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> you have any other treasure with you, buddy? Oscar, he wants, he wants you to copy him. Oh, oh, there we go. How was that, Captain? It was good? All oh, right, you can go ahead and work on the jolly. Fabulous folks looking right over here. And this is the video, so if we want to say hi, there we go. Fabulous work, pirates. Oh, Mr. Smee. Oh, my goodness. He's showing off. All right, pirates, thanks so much for visiting us today.
to show me your pirate costume? Yeah. You look cute. Thank you. Can I become a You're not getting out of it that easily. <laughs> you look very nice. I love your outfit. <laughs> Ahoy! That is so cute. There's Lisa. Lisa, is the children's menu? And then it doubles as a hat when he's finished. Yoink! <laughs> so for my starter, I went for the crab cake. For my main, I've gone for the grouper with the curried rice. Pete went for the 48 hour marinated jerk chicken and he asked for it with the curried rice. And then we've got like stir fries, we've got lamb shanks, we've got the beef with the Yorkshire pudding, we've got a whole variety of things. Dinner was really nice. There were a lot of things on the pirate menu that I really wanted to try, but I had the grouper. I've never had that before, and it was really enjoyable. I think that's what I really like about the cruises, because you get to try stuff. Well, you've already paid for it, but it's stuff where you can take a risk on it then, can't you? Because you're not paying for it. Or oh, I don't know if that's just my cheap mentality. Girl mess. But no, I like the grouper. And everybody else really enjoyed theirs their dinners as well. So we're just heading back to the room quickly and then we're going to run up on deck for Mickey's Pirate of the Caribbean party. We just got back to our room and we've got a towel animal man, not quite sure. He's also got very piratey theme with some chocolate coins and the bandana. And then we've got our tip envelopes and the tips um, are here they're all perforated so you can rip those off and give them to your server assistant server head server stateroom host um, we've already prepaid our gratuities because we always like to do that and then we can top it up as we go along <laughs> Yeah. 
pirates! Now, in your loudest voice, answer me this! Who will be the leader of the crew? Party, Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean, but it was flipping freezing. It was there. very windy, so we definitely need jumpers and spirit jerseys for the fireworks. Oscar was desperate to go to kids' clubs, so we just dropped him off there, and then we've just jumped into the general knowledge uh, trivia pub quiz. Yeah. yeah, so we're in the pub, and it smells like pub. <laughs> Not what you expect on pub. Disney Cruise. <laughs> we don't want this in a wax smell. <laughs> And we've ordered cocktail of the day. We did abysmally in the general knowledge quiz trivia. Like 50%. We got eight. Eight out of 18. Not good. Terrible. Now we're just heading up to deck 12. We're going to grab our spot for the fireworks. We've spirit jerseyed up because it is freezing. It's just the wind. Because the temperature's not that bad. But it is the wind is brisk <laughs> but yeah so excited for fireworks we love a disney fireworks show don't we pete oh I've, that's why i've tied my hair up because the wind was going all in my hair <laughs> After the fireworks we're still all wrapped up and we've got hot drinks because it was chilly on deck so for the 25th anniversary 
shimmering seas. I think the fireworks were really, really beautiful, weren't they? But I think I would have liked to have seen more like memorable anniversary stuff. Like I was hoping that there would have been some like projection on the funnel vision, like some kind of clips, maybe some inaugural sailings or that would have been good actually yeah bits from there so it was nice to have mickey and pals doing a bit of a dance but it just wasn't that special it, it felt like a last minute decision yeah rather than a, a planned event yeah so i think that was the only thing but the fireworks really, were really good um and the dance party at the end but i think that was other guests turning it into a giant conga line that was fun to watch and everyone's just dancing to encanto because what a banger so yeah, what a nice day. I think from the list that we had earlier, we ticked off everything aside from Jack Sparrow. But by that point, the queues were just getting crazy. I think they had kind of everything almost all at the same time, all in the same area. So the queues were wrapping round. It's like uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween, wasn't it? You basically just had to decide what you wanted to do and just stick to it. Yeah, and commit to that because mm. you just couldn't get round everything. But we were there or thereabout, so mm. pretty happy with that. So no, it's just been a really nice day. We really enjoyed the pirate day, I think. And I think really glad that we kind of got more into it this time and dressed up. And it was nice to see everyone else dressed up. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, give us a big thumbs up. And a subscribe is always appreciated. And join us for our final full day yep. tomorrow. How quick has that come round? Sad phases. So it's another day at sea. It's our final full day. We've got Paolo Brunch and the rest of the day is open. Yeah. So join us tomorrow to see what we get up to. See you again soon. Bye.